welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I told you about the basics of composting. It should be somewhere around here. And I got so many great comments that I thought I'd make a second video because I know it's tricky at first to know what goes in the compost bin and what you should avoid. So today I'm going to talk about that, but first I want to tell you where I got my compost bin because many people ask me about it. I got my compost bin from Greenheads Argentina, a small company that started about five years ago. If you're interested in checking out their products, I'll leave the link to their website in the description. So today's topic is what goes in the compost bin. In the previous video, I told you about green materials and brown materials. Green ones are generally kitchen scraps, but there are a few exceptions, such as citrus peels. Citrus peels are quite acidic, and if you add them in a great quantity, it can affect your worms. What I usually do is freeze them every time I have an orange or a tangerine, like this. I have my little tray here. And when I have enough quantity, then I just add some vinegar and make citrus cleaner. There are a bunch of recipes online, you can google them, it's super easy. Also, we should avoid any onion peels in the compost bin, because similar to what happens with citrus peels, they are quite acidic and they will harm our worms. So I would suggest avoiding them. Moving on, we have eggshells. Eggshells are a great source of calcium, but you do need to wash and crush them before adding them to the compost bin. Remember, this is the only kind of animal product that can go in the compost bin. Next, we have a controversial one, which are tea bags. These are a bit tricky because some people claim that these bags are made with microplastics. The tea bags I buy don't have any microplastics, they're just made of paper, but you should do some research to make sure that they're just made of paper. And once you know that, all you have to do is take the label and then just rip it and throw it in the compost bin. Another item that can obviously go in the compost bin is banana peel. It's the same for apples, pears, watermelon, any fruits except for citrus. Remember, you can't put it in the compost bin like this. You need to chop it into pieces of 5 to 10 centimeters. You can also add to the compost bin any kind of cardboard that doesn't have any ink and the same goes with paper. And of course you can add dry leaves or dry grass clippings, but you should be careful with dry grass clippings because they tend to clump up very easily and this will hamper aeration. Another item that can go in the compost bin are these dish sponges. This one is made of jute or chute in Spanish and it has a loofah inside. They are completely biodegradable. I got mine online and when I'm done using it, I'll just cut it into pieces and add it to the compost bin. Moving on to what can't go in the compost bin, we have regular dish sponges. These are not biodegradable. And of course, we also can't add wool pads. I know it might be obvious, but I just want to say it to be safe. And another thing that might not be so obvious, but you should avoid putting in your compost bin is bread. If you're not going to eat the bread you baked or bought in the next few days, you should put it in the freezer. But it's not good for the compost bin, just like anything made with flour, because it forms a sort of paste, which makes aeration very difficult and it's just no good. So that was the video for today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you like the video, please give me your thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow. And if you want to know when more of my videos come out and be part of this community, hit that subscribe button so we can grow healthier lifestyles for ourselves and the planet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!